Hey, Teresa G. In her Hanukkah kitchen tonight at, I don't know, 4, 4, 15, whatever, when the sun completely goes down, it is the first night of Hanukkah. I am not prepared for this, but I'm going to show you what I do, at least for the latkes, because that much I'll get done. I'm putting a lamb roast. In, I can't, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, the lamb is on a spit for the uh, rotisserie in my air fryer, and I'm going to rotisserie, rotisserize <laughs> the lamb, and then while it's resting, I will cook the latkes, and then I'll put it all together. So, I just thought I'd show you at least the prep work on the potatoes. Um, as I told you, the lamb is already prepared, ready to go. I made slits in the meat. I stuffed it with garlic. I rubbed it down with um, olive oil, sprinkled it with Greek seasoning. It's ready to go. Okay. And, um, oh, look who's here. He said for fun when he got up after 10 hours. Good girl. All right, so I'm just going to start the potatoes, and you'll see at least the basic preparation for latkes, for people who don't know. Um, okay, here we go, latkes. It's Hanukkah. I'm going to peel it. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, still getting used to this, these peelers. I'm used to the OXO one with uh, it's sort of a sideways one. I know this is ergonomically better, but I'm not that thrilled with them. But they were cheaper. And they gave you a set of three of them, which is a good deal. Uh, so, if you're missing a while, I'm going to check for the 10 minute mark. Okay. Well, we know it's not 10 minutes yet. So. Trevor, I'm just going to peel like one or so of them and then you can stop it yes, while I'm yeah. peeling the rest of them and then we'll go on with the rest of it, okay? Yeah, we can, we'll keep recording so that I can speed it up. Oi. Oi. My mother used to do this with a little paring knife. I'm not good with the paring knife. So, I know a lot of people do it with a paring knife. I can't do it. Terrible, terrible with a paring knife. What is with her? I love how we let her out and she, and she has to start howling. Is she going to bark throughout my whole video? Of course she is. Hey there, Archie. Uh, it must be somebody outside. Because Roxy's barking at the window. Hey, Rox, what is it? Huh? Alright, so while these are soaking in water, I'm going to go wrap a couple gifts. For tonight. That way I feel like I'm at least somewhat prepared for this.
by the way, if you don't want to throw out all these peels, you hate waste, you can make like little french fry things with the peel of a potato. I've done it before. You uh, make sure they're nice and dry. You spray them with a little oil, a little seasoning. You put them in a little oil or in the fryer for a minute. And you've got like little french fries. I've done it. But these, this today I'm going to throw them out. Just not particularly in the mood for all that extra work. I just want easy cleanup tonight. I'm going to clean out the air fryer. And that's it. Put the plates in, in the uh, dishwasher. That's that. Plus, we have lots of chocolate and snacks left from entertaining last night for our dessert. Our quote-unquote fried elements, since we're celebrating the, uh, the celebration of, of uh, the light, right? That the, uh, that the candles uh, stayed lit for five, five, right? That's the whole story of... Uh, the whole story of Hanukkah, right, is uh, the uh, fact that uh, the candles stayed lit, the oil stayed lit for, uh, we had enough oil for uh, eight days, right, so... Okay, so I peeled all the potatoes. They're soaking for about 20 minutes. And she'll be uh, shredding them and then put, keep me in the water again for a few minutes. And then from there, we will, uh, from there, we will, uh, Not coming in, huh? She'll be putting them into the fire. All right, so they're going to sit like this for a little while. Let me turn it off. And we'll wait about. I'm going to cut them. Now they've soaked a little bit. I'm going to cutting them in quarters so that I can fit them through the feed tube of the food processor. It's been set up with the shredding blade. I'm going to put it through down with this thing. Yeah. One of these things. The thing that boom. See that? One of these things. The food pusher, the food mover, I forget what they call it. Okay, I just noticed a little, a little piece of something in this potato. I thought I got everything out. I don't care about tiny, tiny necks and things, but it's not going to poison anybody. Um, anyway, so I'm going to cut them. Oh, see, look at this. See, this one has a little something in it. You never know. Okay. There we go. Okay. Just cutting it into quarters so I can feed it through the feed tube. And then um, after that, I'll let them soak shredded in the water for a little while so that they stay nice bright white. And then I'll squeeze out the liquid. Right, squeeze the liquid out and um, form the blackers with some matzo meal, some egg. And this time, instead of onion, I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use some garlic and some roasted garlic. I had to adapt the recipe to Trevor's um, stomach issues. Okay, Let's see here we go. Uh, is it like an inch thick or something? Okay, Trevor. He's been plugged in. So. Everybody knows how to use a food processor. Except I have to hold it down with one hand or something because my uh, thing is... Which makes it harder. <laughs> or I can...
midway through. Put them in here in some water so that they don't change color. They don't get all pink and weird from the oxidation. Okay. And then put it back the way it's supposed to be. I always have trouble putting this back on no matter what. Also tried to fit like two pieces in at the same time. Might be able to do that too. All right. So. Nope. It's not doing it. It's not doing it. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. So I will cut that out. milky this is around here so the milky white that's the starch from the potatoes right. that starch is what's going to hold this together she smells the chicken livers yes she does does Roxy smell the chicken livers and yeah, did mommy cook up some chicken livers Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So they're going to sit in here for a few minutes. And then they try to strain it out without losing too much of the starch because that starch with the egg and a little bit of matzo meal is going to keep these babies together. Okay. See you back in a few minutes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the potato. Okay. In a couple of batches, I'm going to, as I see, I'm straining some of it out this way. And then I'm going to put it into a towel. Okay. This is how I do it, but I usually put too much into the towel. I'm trying not to put too much into the towel so I can do it in smaller batches. And I'm going to squeeze it out over this bowl so that the starch goes back into this bowl. Okay. And then I'm going to throw it into that bowl, which already has egg and some garlic and some gin and um, some, um, what's it called, garlic, some roasted garlic, because I'm not using onion. All right, my mother used to throw an egg and an onion all chopped up into a blender blend it out and then add the potato the shredded potato the squeezed out potato um i'm not doing it that way um obviously if you blend potato it becomes kind of gluey although my mother's latkes were never gluey so there you go they say that that makes it gluey but <laughs> my mother's was not gluey Okay, and um, I don't know. I don't know what her secret was. She made the best latkes. She may have been a toxic human being, but she made fabulous latkes and fabulous kugel. Right. So 
squeeze out that liquid. You gotta get out all the liquid. Okay, as much liquid as you can. Look at all that. Do you see all that? It's like really. Okay. doing it until you get all the potatoes done. Yeah, I wish there was like a squeegee or something that they would make just for me doing this because it's a long process. It's annoying and uh, yeah, I'm trying to press out some of it into this thing. Just boom. See, normally I do it in about three batches, but I feel like it doesn't get all the liquid out when you do that, so I'm trying. See, I, plus I've never done it into that bowl before. Okay. Uh, right, so I'm trying to twist it as much as possible. I do think I need to add more egg. I think there isn't enough egg, so I'm gonna whip up the small egg. Oh? Okay, so this is a little bit of its egg, and some roasted garlic and then um, all right, I think that this whatever's left in here should be enough should be what Finish getting into there. Okay. I'm going to try to strain some of the starch into that to add it to the mix, but at least we'll fold the egg. So normally I do this part in the mix, not in a mixer, but yeah, well, sometimes the food processor, I mix it a little bit, but I've decided to try to do it all by hand this time. Then I sprinkle it. My mother always said a quarter cup of matzo meal 
She has, she never used flour, ever. Um, she was no matter what time of the year, even if it wasn't Passover, she did it with matzo meal. So I always do it with matzo meal. Okay. Okay. Just fold it. Okay. Until you don't see the matzo meal really in it anymore. That's what she told me to do. Then you grab some and see if they stick together somewhat. If it doesn't that well, then to add in a sprinkle of potato starch. That's why you try to be as careful as possible getting the getting it out of the water so that you can save the starch. But this is I'm not saving the starch. I'm just just adding it a little bit. This is Bob's Red Mill. So it's not it's not managed it's or straights or whatever. Um, not as easy to find around here. You find what you can. And you live in the middle of nowhere. Okay, now does it stick together a little bit better? Yeah, a little bit better. It's sticking a little bit better together. All right. Okay, so in a few minutes, I'm going to form them and stick them in the uh, air fryer, 12 minutes on the potato setting, and we'll see how it goes. This is what's left of about two dozen latkes. Um, I ended up cooking half of them in the pan while the lamb was in the rotisserie. The, the lamb took about 40 minutes. The recipe I read said it was going to take 20 minutes. <laughs> no, it didn't. It didn't take 20 minutes. It took 40 minutes. Um, and then I let it rest. And while it was resting, I cooked half of them, half the latkes in the air fryer. It took about 15 minutes of flipping halfway through. And I cooked the other half in my cast iron skittle with, of course, my ice cream scoop and my metal spatula, my two best tools for making latkes. Um, and um, they were good and crispy and crunchy and delicious with a little bit of sour cream and ketchup for Trevor, because he's not a sour cream fan. <laughs> right? Yeah. All right, um, so um, I am not showing you the cooking, uh, but I did show you the prep, which is what I said I was gonna do. And uh, the cooking, I will have little pictures attached to this of uh, how I cooked them. Okay? Um, basically, I just melted some duck fat in uh, my cast iron skittle. I scooped it in. I flat flattened them, browned them on both sides. Boom. We had delicious latkes with our lamb roast. Um, so, happy Hanukkah to everybody out there. Um, like this video, subscribe, and press the little bell, and there'll be more holiday meals and holiday prep and holiday gifts to come in Reese's Cluttered Kitchen. Bye.